This is the solution to written homework 20. Okay, so these are word problems. Okay, so the area of a rectangle. So we've got a problem involving a rectangle. Okay, and let's name the various things <coughs> in our story. So we've got area, that's one of the measures. Let's note that with A. Uh, width. We'll denote that with W. And since we already have area, even though length is not uh, mentioned in the story, it's clear that we're going to need it. So length is L. And then perimeter. Okay, so let's label the various pieces. <clears throat> so I guess I'll call this a W, and this one a W, and then this one is an L, and that one an L. And before this story started, we already knew that the area was product of width and length, and that perimeter is the length going all the way around, so twice the width plus twice the length, <coughs> before the story even started. Okay, so we are given, besides that setup, we're given that the area is 80, and that W is 5, <coughs> and we are requested to find the perimeter. P. Okay, so here's P. Uh, to evaluate P, we'll need W and L. Now we're given W, but nowhere in the story are we given L. Uh, however, we have a formula involving L. It has three variables in it one, two, three, A, W, and L. We need L. So do we have A? Yes. Do we have W? Yes, so that's enough to find L. So A is WL, so then 80 is 5L, 80 over 5 is 16, equal to L. So now we have L, and therefore the perimeter is 2W plus 2L. So the perimeter is 2 times 5 plus 2 times 16. Well, that's 10 plus 32. So the perimeter is 42. <coughs> okay, the next one is a story. Let's see. Okay, so there. So Albert rode his bike from. Springfield to Greenville in three hours and then use the same route to ride uh, back to Springfield in two and a half hours. The average speed on this trip um, was four miles per hour faster. Okay, so maybe one was uphill and one was downhill or something. <clears throat> okay, so here's Here's uh, Springfield. And then over here somewhere is Greenville. Greenville. And then there's some kind of path. So maybe that's the way the road bends. Um, so what we know about this story <coughs> is that he took the same path going back and forth. And what we want to know is how far apart they are. That means along this path. So 
starting here and following this distance we want to know how long this is so let's give this a name I'll call it D so we want to know we want to know how long D is <coughs> so let's name everything so the time of the of trip one we'll call this T1 and that was given to us as three hours the time of trip two we'll call that T2 and that was given to us as two and a half hours. Okay, the speed of trip one. Uh, that was not given to us. Call it S1. <coughs> However, the speed of trip one is S1, and we know that speed is distance over time, so we know that this has to be D over T1, because speed is distance over time. And the speed of trip two We'll denote that as S2, and again, that needs to be distance over time. So the same distance, but over a different time, giving you a different speed. So, and besides that, <coughs> besides that, we are given the return trip. So, so S2, the speed on S2. Uh, this, the speed S2 is the speed S1 plus 4. So given this, we are requested to find D. So given this information. <coughs> okay. Okay, so S1 uh, S1 is D, which is what we're looking for, over T1. T1 is 3. And we know that <coughs> S2 is D over 2.5. And besides that, we also know that S2 is S1 plus 4. So S1 I'm going to write this as one third D. One third D is S1 plus 4, because I replaced S2 with S1 plus 4. Is. Okay, and I'm going to write 2.5 as 5 halves, so that'd be D over 5 halves. A little bit of simplifying here. So S1 is a third D. And then S1. I'll move this 4 to the other side. And divi dividing by this fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. So this would be 2 fifths D. And then minus four from that four. <coughs> so S1 is this, and we want to find D. And on the other hand, S1 is that, and we want to find D. So S1 is these two things. So the right-hand sides must be equal. So as a result, it must be the case that a third D is uh, 2 fifths D minus 4, 
So one third, that's about 0 0.3, and two fifths, uh, that's about 0 0.4. So this one is bigger, so I'll move that to the other side. <coughs> Zero is two fifths D minus one third D uh, minus four. So I'll put the four on the other side. Well, two fifths minus one third. Well, let's put it over 15. This would be 6 over 15 minus 5 over 15. So that's 1 over 15 D. And this 4 moved, moved to the other side. So if we multiply both sides by 15, we have 60 is equal to D. And that's our answer. Therefore, uh, D is 60. And it didn't ask for any of these things, but you could go ahead and answer it now. Speed 1, that would be a third of D, so the speed 1 was 20. So that means on the first trip, tra traveling 20 miles an hour. And then S2. S2 is D over 2.5. So that would be D multiplied by 2 fifths. So that would be 24. And notice that S2, 24, is 4 more than S1, which is 20. And that's the answer.